half full. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, is the Chiefs season a disappointment? Of course it is. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> your quarterback is a superstar. Your tight end is a superstar. The cheetah, Tyreek Hill, is a superstar. Your coach is a superstar coach. There are very few coaches yeah. in the NFL that you can put above Andy Reid. I'm with you on that. It's just a fact. And I love that man. Eric the enemy is somebody that we continuously acknowledge and mention because you can't say Andy Reid's a superstar and forget about Eric the Enemy as his offensive coordinator and a sometime play caller. You can't forget about him. And you scored three points in the entire second half and overtime. You didn't go out like Buffalo went out. You didn't go out like that. You didn't go out like Tom Brady went out with Tampa coming back from a 27 3 deficit. Like? Went out like Aaron Rodgers. Oh. The Green Bay went out. Okay? You can't go out like that. You just can't do that. Especially when you were ramrodding them in the first half. Can't do it. And so now we have to reflect on the beat down you took in the Super Bowl. We said, well, that happened courtesy of your offensive line being compromised and Patrick Mahomes having to run for his life on a bad toe. That's what we attributed it to. Well, that wasn't the case yesterday. <clears throat> and Tom Brady wasn't on the other side of the football. That was a second-year quarterback that we just saw three years ago win a national championship at LSU. That's what we saw just a couple of years ago, rather. That's what, that was what I, was opposite of you. And the fact that you didn't get it done, to me, there's no way to slice this. You got the 27th-ranked defense against the pass, and yards allowed, 27th-ranked defense against the pass, okay, which came back to haunt you. We got lost in all of that because y'all were playing better after you got blown out by Tennessee early in the season, 27-3. You went on to win seven straight. But then you regressed back to old habits. And in the end, Cincinnati was able to make some noise in the second half, and you couldn't answer the call. I'm sorry. When you have those kind of weapons on the offensive side of the ball with that quarterback, and in four tries, all four AFC championship games, on your home field, you win two, you lose two. You go to the Super Bowl, you win one, you lose one. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's a tremendous accomplishment. But did we expect more? Yes, we did. Did we get more? No, we didn't. It's a disappointment for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm sure they are disappointed that they're not in the Super Bowl. You know, but, but for the sake of this discussion right here, we're talking about what they got out of the season. Is it a disappointment for them all the way around? And, and, I, and I'm saying for what they went through, and even Patrick Mahomes said it in this little sound bite, for what they had to go through this season, man, it, it, it took something to get here. And what they grabbed out of what they had to go through, I think will help them moving forward. The issue is, since Patrick Mahomes came in this league so young and had so much success so early, we expect all great things. We even put him up there. He may be the guy that eclipsed Tom Brady one day when he was playing him last year. We should stop that. Just stop. Let this man have his career. And this is the issue, what you're talking about right now. That kind of season is not a disappointment. Dive into the season. Dive into the breakdown. When you talked about the seven-game straight stretch that they went on, that was a pivotal part, I think, for, for Patrick Mahomes' development moving forward because he learned to play small ball. Now, he had come in his league throwing balls up the field, making big plays, and we were enamored, enamored. And then they said, let us make you play small ball. He learned how to play small ball in that stretch. At one period, they had more plays per drive, yeah. and, 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 and they were best on mm. third down. That means I kept the chain moving. I kept the chain moving. They lost that game, as you said, because they reverted back to old habits trying to snatch big balls early on. That ability to play small ball, if he had stuck to it right there in that right there in that moment. What I told you what keep Aaron Rodgers, why Aaron Rodgers has one Super Bowl and Tom Brady has seven right now is because something like this. Aaron Rodgers liked those big plays up the field. Tom Brady will small ball you all the way down the field. Now you can start comparing him to Tom Brady if he continues developing you, in this. Do you think it's fair 
And that was a great point uh, about Tom Brady there, to characterize it like this. The season was not a disappointment because of where they started and we were questioning Mahomes and this team, but the game was a disappointment. No. You, you gave him an out. Come you on. gave him an out, Molly. But it's, it's pride will let you take it. It will let him take it. You gave him a critic. great out, on, Molly. You, you, you know what you, know what you should out. do, Stephen out. A., for a job? You, you, should should be on, you should be on one of those, like, competition shows, the judges panel. You know what? It would be hilarious you know, you know, and you would be listen, brutal. Listen, like listen, dancing with listen, the stars or American Idol. Back in 2004, I was a judge on Dream Job. With, uh, yeah. with, that we had on ESPN yeah. too, Kid Hoover, you know Al Jaffe, the great Al yeah. Jaffe, yeah. the former yeah. head of the talent office, who I love daily. You know, well, you know Woody, Woody, uh, uh, and Woody uh, Page. I said, yeah, Woody yeah. Page and Kid Hoover, and I loved it. I had yeah. a blast. You yeah. know, of course that would be great but, for you. Yeah, it's appropriate. Absolutely, I would, I would, I would be spectacular at that. Absolutely, but here's the deal. All right, it's time to go. Here's the deal. All of those things are fine. What's the goal? It's about the end game. Yeah, about the end game. Super Bowl. It's about the end right. game. It, it, right. it, it, for, for you know reason, everybody don't get don't truly have like the Cowboys never really true expectations Super Bowl. That was only you, you and people fell for that. I mean, we all knew they weren't going nowhere. Okay, that wasn't reasonable. It, we knew they were going home. Yeah, we knew the Cowboys were going right, home. Okay, right. you saw the new at twenty two. It'll be the same thing then. It'll be the same thing then too. But the Chiefs, there were legitimate expectations, and right. again, the regular season was successful. You won a division crown, okay? You were a number two seed. I got it. So the journey, fine. But at the end of the day, you were a Super Bowl contender who had okay. home field Beginning advantage. Beginning of the season, they who were had not. home field advantage and didn't get it done against the second year quarterback right. when you had Patrick Mahomes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.